This is the story of the forlorn unicorn, and it's by Newton Park. The Greek god Zeus lived on top of Mount Olympus, but this is the tale about his faithful horse Pegasus. Pegasus was a flying horse, and when he got too old, he retired from his adventures and was given lots of gold. He bought a home and had three kids to carry on the family name. His two sons were huge and strong and looked practically the same. His third child was a daughter who was so small and delicate. She was nothing like her brothers and felt inadequate. The boys could fly and had the power of a mighty storm. All she had was beauty and grace, a real life unicorn. She had no wings, no fearsome roar or muscular physique. But on her head was a shiny horn which made her look unique. Every day when heroes came looking for a steed, they ignored the elegant unicorn. For her, they had no need. They needed strength and bravery as they soared into the sky. But she had courage and uses too, much more than met their eye. Every time she wasn't picked, the more it made her sad as she wanted an adventure to be just like her dad. Then one day, a princess came and said, I need someone brave. So all the brothers shouted out, Adventure's what we crave. They all stood to attention in a fearless line, but the princess smiled and pointed, saying, That one will do fine. The brothers looked at each other in complete shock and dismay as the princess went past them and stroked their sister's mane. The unicorn looked up and said, Are you sure that you want me? And the princess nodded kindly, You're perfect, can't you see? I'm afraid of heights, and I don't need to fly. I'm entering a cave. It's dark and it's scary. I'll need your horn to light the way. The unicorn smiled joyfully, happy as could be. At last, I've got a chance to make Dad proud of me. So she left home right away with the princess on her back. Her father walked beside them along the forest track. Be careful in the cave, as magic keeps a witch protected. But you are small and graceful. You can enter undetected. Pegasus spoke softly and kissed her goodbye. Anyone can be a hero, no matter what their size. With his kind and supportive words still floating on the breeze, the princess and the unicorn entered the cave with ease. Darkness was all around as they tiptoed through the gloom. Her horn was shining brightly as they crept from room to room. The princess quietly whispered in the unicorn's ear, I can hear a familiar voice. The king must be near. Then they peeped round the corner, and there, tightly bound, was the king, sitting crying, still wearing his golden crown. In the room stood the witch. She was snoring fast asleep. It made the princess furious to see her father weep. So they crept in quietly and as carefully as could be. They didn't want to wake the witch and be eaten for her tea. They freed the king, and he leapt up onto the unicorn's back. Then, like the wind, she turned and ran back to the forest track. Pegasus stood there nervously, waiting for his girl, and when she came back with the king, he said, You've done so well. In the morning, the princess and the unicorn returned back home. They were celebrated as the greatest heroes ever known. The witch was never seen again. Everyone was full of cheer. The king was safe, and his people had nothing left to fear. Pegasus spoke. It really doesn't matter. If you're big or small, you'll always be a hero if you get up each time you fall. Anyone can talk the talk. We all can play a part. But bravery isn't judged by size. It comes straight from the heart.